And we are back. It's time for your finals here. $1,000 on the line. Prodigy taking on Joke. Now, if you guys are just tuning in, Prodigy just also claimed our $1,000 Blitz Cash prize for knocking out last week's champion, Rage Like a Boss, in the semifinals. So shout-outs to Rage on his eight-game win streak in Friday Night Football. That's very impressive, very, very tough to do. But it is his lab partner, Prodigy, in this final against Joke. And Joke's already won three Friday Night Footballs in Madden 20 alone. This is going to be his, four, his fourth if he can secure this tonight. Zan here calling the action with Bugs as we have Joke here on offense, first and 10 to start the game. Yeah, right now, I don't know who's going to win this game. Both of these guys are looking tough right now. Chat, I I've seen some prodigies in the chat, then I've seen some jokes. Honestly, I don't know who's the favorite for this game right now. It's honestly a toss up. Both of these guys are high level. They're, they're both balling out. Joke just came off an intense game, but so did Prodigy. Prodigy came off a thousand dollar game. I don't know. It, it, very true. I mean, you're also talking as we have the wheel down the sideline, that's going to be caught by Marvin Harrison over Deion Sanders. Risky read for Joke, but it pays off. Gain a 33 across midfield down to the 38 yard line. One thing's for certain, though, Bugs, we've got players that definitely have an idea of what each other wants to do because Prodigy is last week's champion's lab partner and Rage beat Joke in all, our final last week. So you know Joke is going to take the things that he did wrong against Rage and apply them here in a better light against Prodigy. Yeah, most definitely. It, we're we're going to see Joke make some changes. One change he's already made, he's in this wing flex close. He hasn't really ran that. So far on the games that I've seen, he didn't run it at all last game. Now he's in the wing flex coat. So what what is he going to do? What What's the little wrinkle that he's adding right now? Oh, pressure. But he's got a busted coverage over the top. Corey Grant in for the touchdown joke. Hey, maybe that's what it is. He knew that he struggled last week with Rage running this type of defense. And he goes into more of that. It's a better passers formation when you have a hot route master. Uh, but that that wings flex close is tough. You have to respect the dive stretch. And then people just ad lib. It's a great freestyling formation. And we've seen how well Joke ad libs. Yeah, exactly. Because Joke is more of a defensive player. So he's he's able to jump in these different offenses and then not really bother him as much as it would with for an offensive guy like myself or skimbo or somebody like that or a kid where we kind of have our system and we just got to stick with it we can't really just go to these different things or we're going to struggle joke on the other hand for defensive players defensive players are able to kind of just shift and just make little adjustments and just freestyle it first down and 10 here for prodigy gave up the early score it is corey grant finding the end zone first for joke and joke didn't like his call right there burns his first time out might as well use them. More often than not, you don't use all three in the first half. So uh, maybe there's some personnel he didn't have on the field that he didn't want to play that down without right there. Again, good run defense once again by Joke. Double inside backer blitz against the dive. Nowhere to go for Prodigy. Second down and 11. Strong H wing going to go to the boundary side here. Short side run. Logan Paulson in motion across the formation to the wide side. Here's the give. Hollard up the middle. And once again, great run defense by Joke. You are watching the final of Friday Night Football 37. Zan calling the action here with Bugs. Appreciate everybody hanging out with us all night long here on FNF. If you guys are new to the stream, make sure you guys hit that follow button. We'll be live again next week, live from Huntsville in our brand new studios, Phantom Studios for FNF 38. Rivers back to pass and jokes defense. All right, I'm gonna say it. I this this has the feel of a, a of a runaway early. Joke jokes all over him right now. Yeah, he, yeah, he's all over him right now, and he, he just got a screamer right there. He got he was able to get Lawrence Taylor free, get some pressure on him, cause some confusion, and get cause him to just delay on that first read. Anytime you can make someone delay on their first read, they're probably in trouble if you're screaming at them. 
So now Joke back to work from his own 32. Great field position on his second drive. First drive went with that single back wing close flex and absolutely dotted the field. Now with the lead, though, going to go 22 personnel, try to establish a little run game. Good run defense there by Prodigy. I think it's giveaway time, Sam. I think the people All right, let's see are ready the to get rerolled. <laughs> yep, Rocket says in the chat, it's time for a giveaway. You guys can win Joe Thomas, the new 93 overall left tackle, 93 pass block, 90 run block. But if you don't want that Joe Thomas, you can pick up that four-pack of Ray Lewis, the most feared item. Cam Newton's most feared, Earl Thomas most feared, and the scary fast. Speaking of scary, Bo Jackson. Oh, man, it's it's getting ugly quick. It's a minute and nine to go in the first quarter, and Joke's already up by two scores. Yes, you have the wow. choice of the four most feared or the Joe Thomas. Let's see those dice rolls in the chat. I wonder if Joke has the full bow as well. I know that Rage is using the full bow. Wonder if Joke is using the full bow or if he's using, using the 89 bow. Man, they just both they both break tackles. I mean, if you're gonna get that type of production that we saw J Rage get out of Bo without Bruiser, I would even bother paying for the Bruiser at that point. He's he's so good. Um I wish I wish when I used Bo, he played like that for me. I, I never got that production out of Bo. So who's the back you're using now? For me right now, it's Jim Brown with the arm bar because it's cheaper than Bo with uh, Bruiser. Gotcha. Second and nine for Prodigy. Oh, Pollard. See right there, the story of the game so far. Four rushes, three yards for Prodigy. Joke has had a read on defense from the jump. Looking for his second stop in a row. And that dot out of the backfield is complete. Sliding catch by Pollard moves the chains for a first down. That's what Prodigy needs. He needs to, you know, realize that, yes, you know, you, you have $1,000 in your pocket already, but this game is not over. You've got an opportunity to, you know, fight and get back into this ball game. And, uh, you know, anything could happen. We saw Joke come back from down two scores in the previous game. So it is possible. Yeah, it's definitely possible. I mean, he does get ball at half, so he's not out of the game. It's, it's, it's not panic time at all. You get ball at half. You just go and get, get yourself some points here. Don't overthink it. Don't force anything. Just don't let the floodgates open. That's what you don't want to do. Now Pollard's starting to get a little something going here for Prodigy. That delayed handoff picks up a first down to the Joke 38-yard line. You guys are watching the FNF 37 Finals brought to you by Rocket Mortgage. Rocket Mortgage is obsessed with finding a better way to get a mortgage so you can be obsessed with something a little bit more important like finishing off this FNF Finals here. So make sure that you guys, if you guys are in the market for a new home, Check out Rocket Mortgage, our amazing sponsor. They've been getting into esports, as Boogs pointed out a few weeks back. I believe they're with uh, Nade Shot and 100 Feet uh, Thieves and trying to become the official mortgage lender of esports. So uh, we appreciate them rocking with us here on Mutthead through the end of 2019. It's, uh, it's great to have them on board and uh, let them know in the chat, even if you're not in the market for a new home. Let them know on Twitter, any social media platform, that you appreciate what they're doing for the Madden community because you do care about that. Yeah, most definitely. I know me personally, you know, as a guy that's uh, looking, just expecting to get a home in February, for me, a place like Rocket Mortgage makes making things so much easier, making that process easier for a guy like myself. I mean, what more could I ask for? Because that's all I want to focus on anyway. I just want to focus on my man cave. Focus on my man cave and making my wife happy. I don't care about nothing else. So she'll be focusing on... Are, are you the type that is like, yeah, whatever. Whatever you want to paint the walls, I don't care. Like, it's that's yeah. totally her terrain? Yeah, oh, for sure. It, 
whatever you like. <laughs> that's that's uh, me too. Whatever makes you happy, honey. <laughs> I have no time for conversation. I look, whatever. Just do you. As long as I get a room for me, I don't care about anything else. Put all your lion's gear, mount that Barry Sanders jersey on your wall. So Prodigy's going to get on the board here as we head towards the two-minute warning here in the first half. It'll be Phil Dawson, and this kick is up, and that is – I was want to make sure it got through. It didn't look like he put all his uh, power into that, but it is good. 14-3 at the two-minute warning with Joke to receive this kick. Prodigy desperately need, needs a stop here with ball at half. Because you're still down two scores. You really wanted that drive right there to be the last score of the first half and preferably go for seven to make it a one possession ball game. Got to pause here, see what the players are thinking. I stuck in one of the cutscenes. Ah, that might have been. That would be very unfortunate. Yeah. You remember that glitch back in the day where people would be stuck on this little scene right here where they, they can get you stuck in a little pause screen? Yes, on I do. gameplay, and, it, and you'd just be stuck oh, yeah. looking at the stadium, and then you have to wait it out. Whichever one of you would <laughs> would wait the longest would be the one to get the win. I mean, the things and the lengths that people would go through <laughs> online just to get a a win on a free leaderboard. Jeez. That I, I swear I played somebody earlier in house rules that was lag switching me in house rules. And I was like, all right, bro, you got to do 75 of these, whatever. Like, I'm not going to waste my time waiting you out on a five, a five minute mode. Yeah. That I'll tell you what, you got to be <laughs> special breed to wait out those games. I don't have that type of patience. Wow, I forgot about all that stuff. <laughs> that's that's crazy. That, that stuff even still had. I never I never learned how to do any of that stuff. I wish I would have learned because I feel like it would. I could see how it would be <laughs> funny on the other end of it, but to constantly do it to people, it, uh, I don't know. I feel like that's kind of lame. Wheel down the sideline, and that will be John Ross, and that will flip the field position quickly. So now Joke's got an opportunity to at least get that field field goal back. If not. Make this a basically a three-score lead here. Again, Prodigy does have the ball at half, but he really can't afford to give up any more points already down by 11, and his offense has not gotten off the bus. As Bo Jackson trucks forward for a gain of about nine. Again, the no huddle there as Bo picks up the first down, and Joe will burn his second timeout. Congrats to Devontae, man. Make sure you check those whispers. So Devontae takes home the Joe Thomas. Yes. We're the most yeah, feared the, players. The last guy took a Joe Thomas. Somebody actually saw the value in Joe Thomas that I saw. He took Joe Thomas. Let's see if Devontae ends up getting Joe Thomas or what he ends up going with. Yeah, it's almost like, you know, if you already have a God squad, maybe that Tyler Lockett isn't on your field at receiver. Maybe that Earl Thomas isn't seeing time over Dawkins or whatever. Yeah, maybe you just go with the left tackle. Now third down and eight with 20 seconds left in the first half, and it looks like Prodigy is going to burn his second timeout. So starting to feel the pressure. He he wants at least a, a chance to return a kick, it looks like here, but we'll need to get a stop on third and eight as joke in the tight slots halfback week. And Devontae has claimed the giveaway, so congratulations. I do believe we have – Rockets, let me know how many more we have to give away in the chat. Yeah, that's the question. Did we ever catch up from having to re-roll three times? <laughs> like, did we have we caught up to our giveaways or not? Because we got a little delayed. 
Slammer is the best in the biz. He says that we have one more on Twitter. Thanks for keeping us on task, Slammer. Yeah, shout out to Slammer, man. Slammer's a real one. He's he's been supporting Friday Night Football literally from day one. He was in the chat, ready to go, supporting. He's watched this thing grow as well. He's helped us out a lot. You know, shout out to every last one of you guys, man. Hopefully, you guys you continue to help support, and hopefully, you guys enjoy Friday Night Football, man. Oh, and it looked like he had the blocking as well, but he didn't stay to the outside. And that will take us to half. It is joke by two scores, 17-3, with Prodigy to return this kick to start the second half. But it was joke in the last game in the semifinal against Saya with a similar spot. He was down two scores with ball to start. He got the score, put a little pressure on Saya, and Saya slowly started to kind of, I wouldn't say he crumbled. I just think that joke consistently game managed better the rest of the way than Saya, and that was the difference. Exactly. He just, that's a very fair way of assessing it. He just did what he needed to do. Saya played pretty good on his own. So Joke just pulled it out. Joke wanted it a little bit more, and he played ultra aggressive to get it. Stretch give, and that's Pollard. Nowhere to go. Three tacklers there. Lawrence Taylor, Landon Collins. Was that also one of the linemen in on that play? Either way, you don't want to take a hit from Lawrence Taylor, let alone Landon Collins and Lawrence Taylor. He's going to go to the shotgun there after that. Uncle Taz, you have a great weekend as well. Appreciate everybody starting their weekend off with us here on F and F. You guys are enjoying that stream. Make sure you guys hit that follow button. We do broadcast every week, Friday night, 8 p.m. Eastern time, 7 central with Friday Night Football sponsored by Rocket Mortgage. Next week, we'll be opening up that brand new studio in Huntsville, Alabama. Can't wait. Can't wait. This It looks so sick. I've only seen the concept art, but I can't wait to see what it actually installed. It, it's going to be unbelievable. Wheel route. That's going to be Tyreek Hill down the sideline. He's going to pick up a nice gain of, what was that, about 50, or not 50, about 40 or so? Yeah. That wheel Great across time, midfield right? to the 46. People keep giving that wheel away, and Prodigy just keeps taking it every time it's there. I want to take the time to give a shout-out to Kobe 678 in the chat. He says, first time here. If you're a sub of mine and you have my emotes, if you're not a sub, no matter what you are, say let's take the time. Spam the emotes in the chat. Show Kobe some love. Show Anybody that's a first-time viewer, let's show all first-time viewers some love in the chat right now. Appreciate you guys. Hope to see you back next week and each week on Friday Night Football. We're live every Friday at 8 p.m. on the dot. We have a good time and just enjoy some great Madden. I know I can speak for the whole broadcast team as well as the uh, the staff that, uh, you know, this is something that we look forward to every single week. I know Guru feels the same way. Nick Mazesco, Stiff. Bugs, myself, um, other casters that we've had on. We've got some guest commentators coming up in the in the near future. I know VTech is going to be coming out for one soon. Um, you know, this is something that we enjoy. It's about the community at the end of the day. It's great to watch good competitive Madden, but uh, you know, this is about you guys as well. Here's Pollard once again running into that wall of defense that Joke has consistently displaying some of the best run defense in the community. And that's why he finds himself in these finals. And I just laugh every single time people will say, oh, there's no skill gap. Well, Joke's in yeah. every final. So <laughs> I don't know what to say. Yeah, Joke has been – he's he's put himself in position for $1,000 pretty much every week is what it seems like. and. He's just balling out, and he's looking like he's about to collect $1,000 tonight. You shout out to Joe. Shout out to Prodigy as well, because he, he's not going to just go away easy. Delay Gibb Pollard. That's a gain of five right there. Yeah, it's got to be the draw. This cover four defense just plays so downhill. Those two safeties in the run fit do a really good job of uh, playing the gaps. But when you run, when you run the draws, those safeties don't attack right away. They kind of stand flat footed, which allows you to at least pick up positive yardage. Uh, 
Ivan Broncos 95 knows. He says, is this joke in the finals again? Yep. Every <laughs> week, man. He lays down there and he's going to go ahead and just keep the game alive. That's tough. That's real tough because uh, you have gotten jokes, got scores on all three drives so far. Yeah, it's a tough, that's a tough spot right there. It's like, man, you want to go for it because you're right there, but 13 yards in the red zone, it is tough to come by. So I don't know. That's a tough call. I, I may go for it there, but it's, I mean, I, I can understand why you would kick three and one. Just keep your points rolling and then see if maybe you can get a defensive stop here. Now, Joke looking to at least take this to the fourth quarter. He's going to run the ball, get that clock moving a little bit. I'd be very surprised if we see another snap before the fourth quarter. Yeah, go ahead and put your fours up in the chat. It is Joke up by 11. Don't embarrass me, Joke. <laughs> Don't, don't give him the caster curse. Don't do that to him. <laughs> don't don't be that guy, man. There always has to be I that still, guy. I don't want you to be that guy. I I still feel terrible for what I did to Kratobin last year. Uh, after that, I'll never, ever, ever do that again. And Bo, with this beautiful spin move back to the inside, 20, 10, 5. Oh, nice tackle by Deion Sanders. But, yeah, that... That couldn't happen right there. Wow. That's why you have a Dion. I mean, Dion can save you from a touchdown because he's fast. That's why I always say speed kills. Speed is the number one thing. The number one most important thing in Madden is having speed on the field. Because when you have speed on the field, you can have game saving. I mean, touchdown saving tackles like that. Potentially game saving. We're going to see a Corey Grant dive, and then Bo Jackson is going to come right back on the field right here. Is Joke. I don't think Joke really wants to snap this ball, but he's going to. Hey, if your run blocking looks like that, yeah, you can give Corey Grant the football. Touchdown, Joke. And this one is out of hand, 24 to 6, 412 to go in this one. And it looks like Joke is going to get his fourth FNF championship of the young year. I mean, we're talking August 2nd, I think was our first. Was it August 2nd? Let me go back. Yep, Friday, August 2nd would have been our first. That's crazy. At Rocket Mortgage, we get that a home is more than a house. It's your escape, your fortress, your arena. So we'll be here when you need us, handling house so you can do home. Rocket Mortgage, official mortgage lender of eSports. Again, thank you so much to Rocket Mortgage for sponsoring Friday Night Football. Looks like they're going to give Joke a uh, thousand more dollars, is what it looks like to me. Thousand more dollars. It's crazy to think about. Joke went from not having a single F and F chip to having four in the first two months of the game coming out. Like that's crazy to think about. You know what's even crazier to think about is uh, we actually just recently started expanding the uh, fandom esports program over to fifa and uh Futhead tv runs their own tuesday night football so make sure you guys go follow them as well twitch.tv slash foothead tv and nyc chris i think has won six championships in a row on Futhead Jeez. tv so yeah no, nobody's stopping him either That's i think he's partnered with the about. with the red bulls i think he's out there in new york city sponsored by the red bulls to play fifa so dude is unreal I don't know if you guys have checked him out. Six in a row? Six in, in a, a row. row. Not, not six total. Six in a row. Yep. I just want to make sure every, you're every, not <laughs> bluffing me. <laughs> every, every single one they've run that they've run on Fathead TV, NYC Chris has won it. Wow. Oh, he, he's the GOAT. That guy right there is the GOAT. Kobe678 in the chat says, Mutthead rules watching this over the UFC. Hey, Kobe, thank you so much, man. We appreciate you uh, checking us out, man. And uh, hope we'll see you back next week as well as the rest of you guys. Almost 4,000 strong in the chat here on Friday Night Football. Jeffrey Lund, absolutely. Thanks for spending, with, uh, spending it with us, man.
Whip AJ. route underneath Tyree Kill. And that'll be the two minute warning. AJ Carrot in the chat says joke it is it's good until the real pros come out. And then he's just an average player. I think you are so off base when you say that joke. Yeah, that's not, that's blatantly out of pocket. Joke blatantly is still out of pocket. A great player, no matter who's on the field. He this is this is how Joke has made his name by playing the best players in the world. And the best players in the world, for the most part, all of them are playing in Friday night footballs. You know, Prodigy is one of the best players in the world. Um, on, it's only a select few. Problem hasn't played in FNF in a while. He has played in FNFs. Skimbo hasn't played in a while, but he has played in FNFs. Uh, right. Kid. There's not a single. There's not a single top player you can name in the world, including Problem, that hasn't played in at least F one FNF. Most definitely. So, Joke is a beast. No matter what. No matter what. He's still a beast. He's been one of the most consistent Madden players in MCS MCS history. So, he's definitely somebody to be respected. Fourth down and 27. This probably is your last play of the ball game here. This joke's going to send to everyone. Send the clipboard guy to the towel guy. Why not? And that'll be a turnover on downs. 24 6. Joke is going to be your Friday Night Football number 37 champion. Congratulations yet again to Joke on another $1,000 night. And he said last week, Boogs, you know, F and F 36. That's my last F and F before club series. He lost mm -hmm. in the finals, a little bit salty, kind of a salty taste there. He decides to come back this week, give it another shot. And lo and behold, he takes it home his fourth of the year already. Yeah, that's crazy to think about to pull off four. These things aren't easy to win at all. You know, these, these are 32 of the best players in the world consistently week after week these aren't scrubs these are guys that are playing at a high level even the guy that you would think of as the, the worst guy in the bracket is good enough to have made a name for himself that got him into this bracket so no one's a pushover everyone is tough and for him to have four that's impressive yeah there's still a lot of madden to go i mean we're talking there's another 10 to 10 months left of the season i mean before madden 21 would come out so we got a lot of f and f left i, I got a feeling we're going to be paying joke a lot of money here every friday night uh guys it's time for our twitter giveaway uh the way that we do this every single week is we go and congratulate our f and f winner this week once again it's going to be joke so uh here's this twitter at joke with four e's and an underscore because because competitive Madden players make it really easy to build their own brands and make it easy to find themselves. Um, <laughs> but yes, go uh, go to at joke with four E's and an underscore. Congratulate him. Tag Mutthead in your tweet. We will select one of your guys' tweets to give you guys the Joe Thomas or your choice of the four most feared items, the Ray Lewis with his power up, the Cam Newton, Earl Thomas, and Tyler Lockett, your choice. Good luck to everybody entering. And... Uh, Hopefully you guys, uh, hopefully you guys get what you need for your your mutt teams out there. Shouts to EA Tiburon, Gibbs, Farles, Gabby, Kralo, everybody out there that makes Friday Night Football giveaways possible every single week. Bugs, it's been another great week, and uh, we're finally yeah. gonna get to be back in the studio next week, man. I can't wait, man. It's it's exciting just to think about. We've been waiting for this honestly since you know since we found out that the studio we were getting a studio built for Friday Night Football. We've been excited. I can't wait to unveil it. You know, it's going to be me and you. I can't wait, man. It's going to be a great time. We're going to have a bunch of fun. Hope to see every last one of you in the chat in there next week to just see the unveiling of the new studio. I can't wait, man. Making sure I'm not forgetting anything in our Discord. It looks like that's going to do it for us. Getting out a little bit early tonight, guys. But we'll be back right again next week, Friday night, the 25th. 8 p.m. Eastern time, 7 central with Friday Night Football number 38. We'll see if Joke wants to come back and maybe win 2K next week. I'm interested to see if he's going to try to do that and the club series at the same time. But we'll find out then. For Bugs, this is Zan. Get in the lab and good luck. At Rocket